Kitty, okay, how'd you get? Uh, Kitty, was that you? How'd I get what? Um, same thing we did last time, except instead of the four pi, it's just pi. Wait, completely different. I'm sorry. To do one full cycle, it's going starting there, and it ends at pi over two. So this is pi over two minus zero, which would give me pi over two. So it's two pi divided by pi over two. And when you do two divided by parentheses, one half parentheses, you do get an answer of four. Um, for cosine, it starts at the top. If this point is pi over four, and that's zero, we want halfway between zero and one fourth. Halfway between zero and one fourth would be one eighth. I don't believe so. If it is, I'll have one like that on the review. For the final exam, it would be more fair game, kind of like the one yesterday where you had to figure out where the one six, two six, three six parts were. Uh, I just, it's a picture I cut and pasted from online. It doesn't have all of the vertical lines we needed for. Yes, they were already provided for you. Jamal. Eight, because it's halfway between zero and pi over four. Halfway between zero and one fourth is one eight. And that represents That's where the, the top is. No, I don't know the uh, Thank the you. I, where 8 represents the B, right? Yes. I'll pass it. I can do that. Are you sure? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's the B value. <laughs> I'm going to go tell kids stuff. I don't think I need any, but you look at my favorite. You look at your own. I don't know how to do it. Yes, let me go over number three, and then before I start notes, I'll pop back there and look at it. All right. And then number three. It was very specific. You only had to do the sine one. You did not have to do cosine for that one. You only had to come up with sine. Any questions on number three? Thank you. I may have. I, it, not because I didn't see you did it, because I didn't see you up in the front corner. I actually marked his absent too. <laughs> not gonna lie. Would you rather I lie to you, Eric? When I get over here, I'm like, wait, Eric's here. I have to go fix that. I haven't put it in my line yet, so I'm gonna do that. How'd you get the fraction at 3 over 2? Um, the last one is 4 So when you do two divided by parentheses, four thirds, close parentheses, it does give you the fraction equivalent of three halves. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, who's going today? Thank you.